Now let's apply materials and paint to our house project. To do that, let's go to tab and here in the manage tab, under settings panel, let's click materials. In the material browser, here we can create new materials. Let's click the drop down menu under material libraries, click and then choose create new material. Now the default new material has been created. Right click and then let's rename this. So let's not name this is in a specific material, let's just generalize this to material. And then what I want to do is to specify a certain color on this material. Color white. Click enter. And then in the appearance, it is updating. In the appearance, when you create new materials, go to appearance, always click this duplicate this asset when you create new material so that it won't affect the default material. It will update a bit and then click the color and change it to white. Then click OK. It will, a bit, it will update. And then go to graphics. Then make sure the use render appearance is checked. So now in the material color, we, we have specified the appearance and then the graphics. Let's click OK. And then, by the way, let's cre create another material. Click again the materials. Let's duplicate this material. Right click, then cl click duplicate. Then let's rename this color. Let's say gray enter and then since we created new material from this new material we have created let's click the appearance click this duplicate this asset button it will update a bit and then click the color let's change it to gray then click ok it will update And then in the graphics, make sure that the use render appearance is checked. And then we can create another new material. Right click, duplicate. Let's say this is color maroon. Then again, go to appearance. Then click, duplicate this asset. It will a bit. Uh, it will update, and then click the color. Then change it to maroon. This one, and then let's lighten it a bit. Yeah, and then click OK, and then in the graphics. Make sure the use render appearance is checked. Now we have created three new material colors. Then click apply and then click OK. Now that we have created our new materials, let's let's uh, let's look at the default materials provided to us by Revit. So to do that, let's go here in the view control bar. Click this visual style and then here we can change the visual style from hidden, naka set it to by default into hidden and then let's change it to consistent colors. And this is it. This is the color default from Autodesk. The walls default color is gray and then the roof default color is green. Now let's apply the materials we've created to our walls click wall and then here click edit type then here in this structure click edit and then in the material click then click this square with three dot inside it that's the builder button click and then let's change it to material color white then click ok then click ok 
it will update then again click OK now it applies the material we have created also let's apply it to the floor click the floor click edit type and then click the structure edit then here in the materials panel click then click the builder button let's change it also to color white okay and then click okay click okay this wall doesn't change because it is in the different type so let's click edit type and then click the structure edit in the materials again let's click the builder button then choose color white then okay 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 yeah i'll discuss this in a bit in other video i mean i i'll discuss this in depth in the future videos that we will be uploading so stay tuned in this youtube channel let's now proceed so let's create uh let's apply roof material to our roof click edit then the roof click materials for the structure let's apply a material for this click let's apply this material let's choose another material that let's search we can search here above in the text box let's search steel then let's choose the steel yeah let's choose this steel structure steel bar joist layer so click then click OK that is default from Autodesk and then the finished material let's change it to the material we have created so search natin yung mat material na ginawa natin material press enter walang lumabas so let's go to M here so let's click this maroon let's just duplicate this one and let's name this roof material roof finish material and then let's stay with the color maroon click click enter since we have duplicate this one let's go to appearance and then click this duplicate this asset it will update a bit and then here in the graphics let's add wall uh, wall hatch pattern so here in Revit the hatch is called field region or field patterns so in the surface pattern in the foreground let's click the pattern and then here in the pattern type let's make sure that the model is selected and then let's choose patterns that we will be applying to our roof so konti lang yung andito let's create our own pattern i want ver just vertical lines 300 mm apart so let's use this 75 mm vertical and then let's duplicate this let's name this uh, 300 mm and then here in the settings let's change the line spacing to 0.3 from 75 to 0.3 then click OK and then make sure it is selected click OK and then here in the patterns make sure na yung ginawa nating pattern yan yung naka reflect then click apply and OK and then we have we have specified the material for the structure and the finish of our roof then click OK last click OK and then click anywhere outside and then apply na yung materials na ginawa natin but the pattern is color gray hindi siya ganong kita let's change it into color black click the roof click the edit type let's go to structure edit again then click the roof finish material and the graphics let's make sure that the pattern color is not gray let's change it to black okay so it is black now okay 
then click ok twice yan so kita na yung pattern we can also change it to any other roof pattern but for now let's just use this one we can load other fill patterns from outside or we can create another pattern now let's use the paint tool how to apply paint in the Revit so by default if we apply paint in Revit let's go to manage uh, modify tab and then here in the geometry here is the pattern paint tool or PT in the command so let's click this drop down let's click paint and then the way the way it works it's it's just like in SketchUp you have materials and then you click the face where you want to apply the material so I want to go to the materials we have created here the material gray and other colors so let's click this maroon or this gray material then let's apply this here so now it applies to the whole wall I want this to be applied in just a certain area so let's remove this paint to remove this paint let's go to paint tool and then below the paint we have the remove paint click and then click the paint you want to remove yeah and then skip twice let's create a split face for this side of roof uh, let's just create it on the other side here so to be more specific in creating the split face let's go to elevation view let's go to the left elevation view here elevation left double click now we're in the left elevation view and let's create a split from here to here so to do that let's go to modify and then in the top command of this paint tool we have this split face click that and then click the face of the wall click and then we can see that the create boundary is now enabled split face create boundary make sure you see this orange so that orange will be our boundary and then let's make sure na hindi tayo lalampas dyan and, hin and if we create boundaries inside make sure na it is closed loop and also we can use it as the boundary for example you have to create let's align this one to this line click and click here make sure this line go up to here the orange skip twice because if not it will show an error and then let's create another line here let's just click this and then mirror this one to the center of the window click yeah it reflects there so make sure it is it touches the orange yeah then check yeah meron na tayong split and then let's since it, these walls are separate walls let's create also split here go to split face click and then let's align our boundary here to here skip just one skip para hindi ka mawala sa sketch command skip press skip twice if you want to exit the sketch command since hindi natin gusto uh, we want to leave the we don't want to leave the sketch command isang skip lang click then click then skip twice if you want now to leave the sketch command yeah, then click check so now we can apply a separate paint for this just side of the roof so let's go to 3d view here's the split let's apply color then let's go to paint let's apply yeah color maroon then click then you know that uh, then you see Jan lang siya nag applied then click yan done click okay yan so on the other side if you do want to create just a shape we can so that's how you apply material and paint to the house project or to any other projects you have so that's how you apply materials and paint in Revit